Welcome, today I am with Xiaomi Poco M3 Pro and I will show you a couple camera tricks. So at the first I'm going to start from this basic modes. When you are in the photo mode we can quickly increase or decrease the brightness level. Take a look. You have to tap on the screen and then with the sun icon you can, you can decrease or increase the brightness level. You can also make it manually by tapping on the screen and right now our smartphone make it automatically. The same you can make in the video mode. Take a look. That's very simple. Okay, let's go back for the photo mode where we can find the Google Lens. When you tap right here, you have to remember about one thing. You have to be connected to the Wi-Fi network or mobile data to let it work properly. And right now we are looking for something around you. For example, I would like to make, I would like to get more information about um, this Logitech mouse. So you have to aim your camera on that object. And then when you got this blue highlight dot, you have to tap on the shutter and your phone will make the phone search. As you can see, our smartphone finds and recognize this mouse. It's a Logitech M100. So right now you know more about this product. Also in the Google Lens, you can find other useful options. Like you can copy the text, you can translate text or go for the shopping, for example. So um, the same, it works the same like on the search, but instead of the information, you will get in the shop, in the shop details about the product, like price, for example. Okay, and when you are in the photo mode, we can also add another thing. Tap right here, and you can add delay to your shutter. Three, five, or 10 seconds. Let's select, for example, three. And right now, when you tap on the shutter, after this time, the photo will be taken. So it's useful, for example, when you want to take the group photo of your friends, and you want to put the phone on the tripod, and then just simply, you got enough time to go around the phone, stand with your friends, and then just enjoy the photo. When you tap right here on this icon, we can change the colors and the temperature by picking these quick filters that we can find in the application of our smartphone. <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot of different themes. Oh, I have to turn off one of them. Uh, let me just go for the normal, okay. And I'm gonna also turn off this shutter delay. So uh, that's all from the photo mode and the video mode. Uh, when uh, we are here, we can also enter for the pro mode where we can find few options that we can adjust manually. That's the white balance, shutter speed, focus, ISO and EV. If you don't know what all of these values means, you can tap on this information icon and here you get the great description of every option right here. So we now give some time and just test all of these values. Maybe you will make very beautiful shots with the promote. Right now we can go for this three lines in the right upper corner when we are in the photo mode and we can open the settings. In the settings, we can find a couple of the useful options, like for example, the volume buttons function. Currently is set up on the shutter countdown. So when you press volume up or down button, we will get this shutter delay. But I will show you my favorite option. It's zooming with the volume buttons. Take a look. When you press volume up, you can smoothly zoom in to the 10 times and also we can zoom out by pressing volume down button. Let's go back for the settings. And right here we can also change the press and the hold shutter button function. We can use the burst shot. So it's useful for example on the sports events when you want to take a lot of photos and pick that one that fits you the best. So you have to click and hold. Oh, wait a minute, it's not working. Maybe I just mess up. Let's go back for the settings. Oh yeah, I didn't switch to the bear shot. So we have to switch and take a look right now. You press 
and we can take a lot of photos. So we take right now like 20 photos in a very short time. So that's all. If you find this video helpful, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe.